I was fortunate to get a early beta test model for the DSSM, so I've been living with this transmitter for a couple months. I used it on a television production for four weeks, and I've got a good handle on the performance of this transmitter, some of the sonic characteristics. Some of my initial thoughts is it sounds just as good uh, as all my other uh, D-squared transmitters, such as the DBSMs. Uh, I'm not noticing any range differences between the two. The performance has been on par uh, from this unit to the other unit, so I'm very happy with the performance. Um, is this transmitter for me? There's some confusion about, well, is it waterproof with the uh, wire connected? Yes, to answer that question first, the transmitter itself can be fully submerged. So that means that we don't have to worry. It doesn't matter what kind of connector is in it or not in it. Um, it can be fully submerged and you never have to worry about water getting in this transmitter at all. However, the connector portion of the lav itself may not be waterproof. So I'm gonna do something really crazy and I'm just gonna kinda let it swim. And this just feels insane on every level right now, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna do that. And then we might as well just fully submerge it and see if we're still getting audio. Now this connector is not waterproof on any level. Maybe we just let it sit in there for a little bit under the ground. And I see, I see it modulating, maybe take it out. So, I mean, my connector's not waterproof, so we'll see how we did. One thing that's really important to putting transmitters on cast members or talent or whatever situation that you're working with is obviously the size of the transmitter. So the DSSM, as you can see here, compared to the SSM is a little bit larger than the SSM, but still small in comparison to the DBSM, which is probably most similar in size. But one of the distinct differences that you really notice when you wear the transmitter is the rounded edges do make a big difference on how it feels. Plus, the clip, which is surprisingly sturdy, is a much smaller profile. So it feels a little more comfortable to wear on the body and natural. Battery run times obviously are super important with wireless transmitters. There are all sorts of scenarios where we may or may not be able to get to talent. So uh, I reached out to Electrosonics to get battery run times because the production unit has different power levels um, than the one that I have. And I was told that at 50 milliwatts with the battery, the LB50, I believe, is uh, four hours, 45 minutes. Uh, 25 milliwatts runtime is gonna be five hours plus. 10 milliwatts uh, is gonna be also five hours plus. <laughs> And, um, and then an HDM mode should be well over six hours. So those run times are right on target with my lithium uh, batteries on the DBSM, so it should be pretty good. And what's interesting is that the HDM mode for the DSSM will now be four milliwatts, which is double the power of the HDM mode that I've experienced in the other units. So I'd be interested to really try that out and see how it performs. You know, if you're like me and you live in a bigger market or larger city, you know, we can be in some really tough RFM environments. So HDM mode can be very powerful to tightly space your transmitters because the deviation patterns are thinner and it just allows more space, less crosstalk between carriers, uh, allowing you to, you know, fit things in where you need to see them fit. I find the menu system of the DSSM to be very straightforward and intuitive. I especially appreciate the OLED display, which is one of my favorite parts of using my DBSMs, which are my other D-squared transmitters. And you can get this transmitter will be available on release from Lectro in the US in the A1B1, which is the full 138 megahertz, 470 to 608. And you can also get it in the B1C1, which is a new offering, 
which allows you to go from block 21 to block 23, but also opens up the guard band and duplex gap for an additional 12 megahertz of spacing. So if you're working in a very busy environment, this could be very valuable. And then of course, finally, you can get it in the STL band or the 941 band, and then there's also international models as well. So this is a little bit of a range test, I guess. And um, I normally wouldn't trust whips this far on a film set, but let's see how we do. We're also changing elevation. As you can see, I'm getting a little nervous about it. And uh, gonna walk down here. Such a beautiful landscape here. One of the things that I really appreciate about using the D-squared transmitters is the audio fidelity gained using a digital system, especially when you're using a full digital workflow such as Dante. And an Easter egg about this particular transmitter that I learned for you audiophiles out there is that it actually sports a improved or new A to D converter. Um, is this transmitter for me? Um, I'd say so. Having a couple of these on hand to deal with water situations where we don't have to put on a lot of extra gack on the transmitters or latex protectors and go through extra steps to make them waterproof is going to be definitely valuable in my workflow. Um, what do I really like about the transmitters? I love it's an OLED display and I like using rechargeables because I don't want to have to recycle a bunch of lithium batteries if it's not necessary. So the fact that the LB50 battery specs given to me by Electrosonics are on par with what I'm experiencing with the lithiums on my DBSMs is an excellent selling point. Uh, what do I wish that the uh, transmitter had? It would have been really great to see if this transmitter had 48 volt phantom power. It would have been really nice to be able to put it on the end of a boom pole and especially use it in plant situations. But the fact that it's waterproof, IP57 rated, it has an excellent battery performance with a rechargeable battery. Definitely, I can see myself adding two of these in the future in my kit. So thank you uh, for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something about this transmitter. If you have questions, comments, put it below. And I look forward to seeing all of you very soon.